Alright, so I tried opening a bottle of beer using another bottle of beer. Didn't end up proving to be the wisest act. Um, severed my finger uh, all the way down half of my finger. Pretty much half of my finger has been just sliced through by this shattered bottle of beer. Um, now I'm just sitting in a water, I've been waiting about, I don't know, 40 minutes. Just 40 minutes. That's just the beginning, I'm sure. Um, I think my feeling and my pointer has been impaired a little bit, so I can still just move it. It might be tendon damage, who, who knows. I'm still yet to find out the details. But uh, it's pretty fucking deep cut, and it, it definitely needs uh, surgery. I'm going under! Oh! The plural guys definitely needs a bit of uh, stitches, at least. I don't know about tendon damage, there's a good 42 to 57% chance that I cut through a tendon. It's pretty deep, and it goes through one side of my finger. My pointer finger. It's pretty fucked. Wish me luck, guys. Just gonna chill out here in past time. Ciao. Ouch. Looks pretty painful. Alright, uh, fainted about two minutes ago for a few seconds. The pain was pretty nauseating. Still feel pretty nauseous. Chilling out. It's just a matter of time. Alright, I'm in now. In thing. It's got, I'm getting my antibiotics. Unfortunately, it doesn't get you high. Unfortunately. But, um. <laughs> seriously, what's going on? Um, yeah, the painting was cool, held nauseous for a while. Um, they put the needle through to put this thing in, and it, the first time didn't work, so they had to do it again. That was fun. Just, you know. But you know, it was like role playing to be a junkie, you know, and I reckon I'd, after all that practice, I'd make a pretty good junkie in a film someday. So uh, now I'm going to have some antibiotics or whatever, aesthetic put through, and hopefully sooner than later, go on to um, to get my finger sewn back. Um, I can't bend my finger all the way down. It really feels like a severe cutting pain when I move it past that point. I can't do that. That. Only... So fingers crossed, I haven't done any serial damage. Otherwise, I might be able to lose my hooking ability, which would be pretty tragic considering that hooking ability is a vital ability to possess in certain domains of one's life. So wish me luck guys. I'm gonna see this through. Uh, here's to you not going through this shit. I'm sitting in this war so dull and sterile and I feel but a remnant of remorse. Uh, uh, well I'm still high. Oh, yes it is. No. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, uh, I am still high. I think the two ladies that I met before coming to this hospital, they took me to the car and gave me a joint to share. Um, it may have been laced with, like, speed or something. So I just felt like a zing. You know, I felt like talking and writing. Feeling pretty switched on right now, which doesn't really help because I'd like to sleep. And it's fast forward time on the clock there. But it's all good, you know, I'm high, I'm enjoying this, it's a new experience. They offered me anti they offer me painkillers and I declined because I don't want I don't want that painkillers. I want to experience this pain. I don't get to experience this pain all the time. So I may as well make the most of it now. And go through the experience naturally wholeheartedly, whole bodily, without switching off certain retrieval centers for sensation. I'm going to experience all of it, all the sensation, and that's what I'm doing now. I just hope I can fix this little baby up later, so that certain ladies in my life can also experience all the sensations I can provide. Otherwise, yeah. At least I've still got the good old righty. Uh, 
Uh, it's about 7.30. I've been here for about four hours. Four and a half, five hours. I don't know. So a bit of a nap, and then they moved me into a room. So just being in the hallway. So that's where I am. My very own room. Still waiting to get this fixed.